Hey Curly Tees, I'm in a different place today so please excuse any background noises. Today, let's make a super hydrating gel using sodium hyaluronate, glycerin, and pistachio nut oil, which is said to be high in vitamin E to get supple, soft skin. Natural hair beauty is possible if you take care of your hair and make the most of what nature has given you. Always use distilled or deionized water to make hair care and skin care products. I like to transfer my distilled water into smaller, more durable bottles that last longer. Some girls use a lubricating cream or lotion to prevent skin roughness or chapping. Betaine is a uh, then gels created with regular hyaluronic acid. It's a combo of sodium hyaluronate cross polymer, pentylene glycol, and water. It has a gel consistency and creates a so-called breathable and nourishing film for the skin to help keep the moisture in. Okay, now this is a very specific ingredient. I guess you can replace it with hyaluronic acid powder, but you'll have to hydrate it first. But whatever the creative concept, quality has always been a prime consideration. Pentylene glycol is a top level humectant. It's said to help increase the penetration of other ingredients into the skin. It also has some level of antimicrobial activity and it's one of those ingredients in the hyaluronic acid elastomer we just used. So, what happens next? I'm using almost 15% of this gelled glycerin. If you'll be using regular glycerin, decrease that amount to probably about under 5%. The next ingredients will help decrease tackiness, but be mindful. Experiment with what you need to add, then change your formula accordingly if you don't have this particular ingredient. Glycerol polyacrylate can also help bind a small amount of oils, like one to two percent. I have less than that loaded into this mix so far, so let's see how it works. We're off to a good start this morning. So, for each individual, the finishing touches of appearance may be his or hers alone, suited to individual needs, actions, ideas. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe on YouTube. Leave a comment if you have questions. <laughs> okay, here. So, for each individual, the finishing touches of appearance may be his or hers alone, suited to individual needs, actions, ideas.
Lotion Crafter EL40 is a mix of dimethicone and dimethicone cross polymer. It's highly recommended because it makes the serum feel silkier and helps it apply smoothly without feeling dried out right after applying. You can use a non-silicone alternative, but it won't feel quite as nice as actual silicone. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. On the screen are a few silicone alternatives, but I have to recommend that you try an actual silicone. Okay, silicone is not comedogenic and adds a softness that can't quite be duplicated. G-Side Cap 7 is an antimicrobial used here to help the main preservative work better. Like if you're using a more robust preservative, you may skip this, or you can use another antimicrobial in its place. Phenopropanol EHG is a broad spectrum preservative used to help prevent nasties from forming. But use whichever preservation system you have the best results with. I'm not going to argue with y'all about preservatives. Some people like liquid germol, some people like the phenoxyethanols. Use whichever one that you have the most success with. love these little four ounce jars they come with a beauty spatula to keep your fingers out of the jar for added protection the final serum is gorgeous it is definitely a full body serum and not like a light watery essence it's not too thin and the humectant ingredients gives it just a little playtime to add hydration into the skin I use it on my face, my neck, and my hands when I need to feel more hydrated than when I use a regular cream. But you can also use this underneath a cream if you want. Now, I haven't noticed any additional breakouts on my skin while using it. But make sure you're not using any other ingredient that would cause a breakout for your skin though. By the way, silicones are non comedogenic so they don't clog the pores by themselves. They do, however, provide a nice barrier to help lock in moisture. So just be mindful of the other ingredients you're using in this formula if you are making substitutions. DMAE is said to temporarily help make skin look firmer and smoother. Centella is said to help stimulate collagen over time and is often found in anti-aging over-the-counter products. Topical DMAE is said to have the effect of making the skin temporarily appear tighter. It also allegedly helps with skin texture over time. Now I'm sticking to within the usage recommendation from the supplier, but next time I'll use DMAE at 2%. DMAE was breaking viscosities left and right with various other versions of this formula I made but now I have something to work with plus a no fuss pH adjuster that worked well with this formula. For another great serum recipe, hit the link to the video on the screen if you're watching at YouTube. Hyaluronic acid elastomer is a humectant said to be about three to four times thicker uh, than gels created with regular hyaluronic acid. It's a combo of sodium hyaluronate cross polymer, pentylene glycol, and water. It has a gel consistency and creates a so-called breathable and nourishing film for the skin to help keep the moisture in. But keep looking around. Try to find out what the score is.